Today is Thursday, February 2nd, so in honor of Groundhog Day, we're going to look at fangs again. They still matter in my view, and although I have Apple up here, let's start with Facebook. And you can see right away that the stock fell sharply, consolidated, went back up to test the old resistance level. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can really see what's going on here. Some good news this week. Stock goes way up, but still below resistance. So right now, I would say you have to respect that. And until it goes through there, um, it's got to be considered to be a temporary um, top to the rally. Take a look as we zoom back out a little bit. Take a look at on balance volume. You can see which direction that's heading. So whatever it lost during the decline it did not make up during the recovery. And the recovery, I believe, was even longer than the decline. So I don't think you could use math to say that um, that's just an anomaly. So anyway, we have Facebook at resistance. You got to wait and see what happens here. Got to wait for the breakout. All right, next, Amazon. Same story, at resistance. Same story, decline and unbalanced volume over that span. And the same conclusion. Got to wait to see what happens, whether it's going to break through resistance or it's going to get stopped at some of these averages here. Uh, I don't know how many averages drawn, but we can use a short-term trend line as a proxy. I don't think this one's quite so relevant unless it does nothing for a month or so. Anyway, it's a wait and see on Amazon. Netflix is really nothing here that I see. It's through this resistance, so that's a positive. It's in nice high territory. It avoided bad problems with this gap up and close right near the lows for the day. You can see it really didn't follow through on that. So again, the trend is still up. Don't have resistance overhead. Do we have any resistance in terms of momentum? And the answer is not really. So it's again a wait and see. Not a whole lot of information coming out of these fangs. But here go here comes the big one. This is Alphabet, I'm still calling it Google. And what I see here is bad. It did break out through resistance, and look at this. That is a key outside day reversal to the downside. And even if we look at it in the weekly format, still closed well off its highs and only spent one week above that resistance before falling down again this week. Anything in volume to help us? You can see a lot of volume happening during this churn, this reversal. And on balance volume, you can see the same story. Less money coming into this thing as it rallied than fell when it declined, than, than left the stock than when it declined. So I think that Google or Alphabet, whatever you want to call it, is showing some bearish signals here. I don't think it's an outright sell the world type of thing, but this is a warning for sure. I'm not too happy with the performance here. And just one more line, as long as we're eyeballing things. So any, any more declines here, and then maybe you do have your big reason to get out of this stock. Okay, back to some more, more of these stocks. They're not fangs, but I think they're pretty the big techs that had some momentum were leading the market. See Microsoft broke out to new highs on a gap and failed. I think that's pretty bearish, at least very short term. Probably need another day to break that trend line. And then finally, Apple. Good news here, resistance really not in effect until the old highs back here. And just to put that into context where the stock used to be, those were the go-go days of Apple back in here. And it looks like the stock has a date with the same levels. But past that, you know, is this a good risk to take? You know, you're going to make, what, three or four points on a $128 stock versus the risk of it coming back down with the rest of big tech. So not a whole lot of information on the FANGs and their, and their friends. I do think Google or Al Alphabet has some problems. Microsoft is close to problems. Apple looks pretty good, but the risk reward, I'll let you decide that on your own.